Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we're going to find the, the derivative of a function using application-related problems. In this example, we're going to, we're going to look at a very practical uh, problem, and this problem uh, is as follows. The cost in dollars to publish X textbooks is given by this equation here. C of X is equal to negative 0.005 x to the power of 2 plus 20x plus 150. We want to find the rate of change of cost with respect to the number of numbers published when 100 books are made and 200 books are made and when 500 books are made and when 1000 books are made. So this is a practical type of a situation. So to solve these type of application problems, we're going to follow the same process as we did in our regular examples. So as, uh, as step number one, we're going to write the formula down the way we know it. The way we know the formula is the slope or the first derivative is given to us as limit of this function f of x plus h minus f of x divided by the whole thing divided by h as h approaches 0 as h approaches 0 as step number 2 we're going to substitute the given function into this in, into this uh, formula and therefore when we do that it is going to look like this the limit as h approaches 0 we're going to substitute the function in the numerator part we have all of this negative 0 0.005 I'm going to write this a little bit more clear 0 0.005 times x plus h the whole thing raised to the power of 2 plus 20 times x plus h plus 150 this is all the function x plus h part of it the second part of this function is negative 0 0.005 x to the power of 2 I'm going to um, maybe write this a, a little bit uh, clearer here so I'm going to uh, take this denominator and move it a little uh, little lower minus I'm going to write this one this part here as negative 0 0.005 x to 005 x squared plus 20 x plus 150 plus 150 this whole thing is divided by h and that is the that is the part we have now we want to simplify the math in here when we simplify the math it is going to look like this this is step number three we are simplifying the math in here we go to write this one as the limit as x approaches 0 we're going to write this part as follows we're going to distribute uh, the x plus h the whole thing raised to the power of 2 as follows negative 0 0.005 times x to the power of 2 plus 2x h 2x h plus h squared like that Plus, I'm going to distribute the 20 to x plus h. 20 times x is 20x plus 20 times h is 20h plus 150. And now I'm going to distribute the negative sign to every one of the terms in the second part of the equation. So therefore I can write this one as negative times negative is a positive 0 0.005 x to the power of 2 this is 5 x to the power of 2 negative times positive is a negative 20 x and then negative times positive is a negative 150 close brackets
closed brackets, the whole thing divided by n, and therefore this is what we have. Now if I look at the numerator part, I can simplify that some more, and the way to do that is as follows. So I can simplify this some more as follows. Limit, as h approaches 0, the numerator part is going to simplify to now this time I'm going to distribute the negative 0 0.005 to every one of the terms inside the parenthesis so therefore it is going to look like this negative 0 0.005 x to the power of 2 then negative 0 0.005 times 2 x h is going to be equal to negative 0 point zero one h like that minus zero point zero zero five h squared then the rest of the equation we can write it as is plus twenty x plus twenty h plus one fifty plus zero point zero zero five x to the power of two minus 20x minus 150 the whole thing divided by h and then I'm going to put a bracket around it now as we can see the numerator part we have a negative 0.005x to the power of 2 and a positive 0.005x to the power of 2 we can cancel them out then we have positive 150 and negative 150 we can cancel that out we have a positive 20x and a negative 20x we can cancel those out and therefore we are left with we are left with uh, the following things so this we can simplify as limit as h approaches 0 uh, we have the terms we are left with is negative 0.01h negative 0. 005h squared and then plus 20h in all of those in the numerator part we are we have a common h i'm going to pull out common h in in all of them therefore we are left with negative 0 0.01 uh, this is there should be an x here so when i pull out the when i pull out the h the x is there minus 0 0.005 h and then plus 20 is what we are left with divided by h so as we can see i have an h in the numerator i have an h h in the denominator so i can cancel them out therefore this function simplifies we can write this one out as follows the limit as h approaches 0 I can write it as an individual uh, pieces of this function my mi 0 minus 0 0.01 X like that minus limit of as X approaches 0 we're going to write this one as 0 0.005 H and then the third part is limit of this constant number 20 as h approaches 0 so therefore now we can apply the we can apply the limits and therefore the limit of negative 0.01 x as h approaches 0 is going to be equal to negative 0.01 x like that minus limit of 0.005 h as h approaches 0 is going to be equal to 0 and then the limit of a constant number is going to be the constant number itself so therefore 20 so therefore this whole thing simplifies to negative 0.01 x plus 20 that is our answer so this is the derivative of this given function of this given function so in the problem it is uh, it is asking us a few more things this is the derivative if now let me let me write it this way if the given function if the given function is c of x is equal to negative 0 0.005 x to the power of 2 plus 20x 
plus 150 the de then the derivative of this function the derivative of this function is going to be equal to negative 0 0.01 x plus 20 like that and then what we want to find is if we substitute the value of x as equal to 100 uh, we, we want to find out the rate of change of cost with respect to the number of numbers published when we sell 100 books, when we sell 200 books, when we sell 500 books, and when we sell 1000 books. So when x equals to 1, when x equals to 100, I'm sorry, when x equals to 100, then we can, we can write this one as c prime of 100 is going to be equal to negative 0 0.01 times 100 plus 20 and that is going to be equal to when we simplify the math that is going to come out as equal to $19 when the value of x is equal to 200 when we publish 200 books the derivative is going to tell us the cost of uh, 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 cost of making those books negative 0 0.01 times 200 plus 20 so when we simplify this math it is going to come out as $18 so the more books we publish or the more books we make the less of the cost so when we make 500 books when we when we uh, publish 500 books the cost is going to be uh, C prime times 500 and uh, when we substitute that value 0 point negative 0 0.01 times 500 and this value is going to be equal to $15 and when we publish I'm sorry $15 when we publish 1000 books when we publish 1000 books the value the cost is going to be the cost let me write this one here negative 0 0.01 times 1000 plus 20 and therefore that cost is going to be equal to ten dollars ten dollars so when 1000 books are made the marginal cost is going to be equal to ten dollars in my next presentation we shall see more examples more application uh, examples related to derivatives using limits